let me show you what you can do if your Garmin watch that doesn't want to power on uh, or uh, you suspect it's simply not charging or maybe something has happened to it or maybe it's like stuck on a blue screen so you can't get past like a blue screen so i will basically cover all of these things okay first if your watch actually isn't charging first what we have to do is we actually have to verify that the contacts are actually okay so this is basically where uh, you plug it in basically to charge so verify if uh, maybe th there is some like a dirt or again maybe as you see basically inside uh, like uh, this groove basically as you see sometimes a lot of like a dirt gets stuck over there so simply observe if it's not dirty if it is you can take a brush and brush it out basically so if i simply like try to plug in basically if there's some dirt inside it simply can't like uh, plug in basically uh, fully basically so check that also we can check uh, the condition of the uh, like cable itself over here and see if uh, all the pins are okay maybe some are bent or again maybe something is stuck inside then also what you have to know is uh, basically when you connect it uh, basically some actually chargers actually won't charge this watch for some reason for example uh, for example this over here charger i have uh, if i try to charge this watch it actually doesn't charge but if i try another charger it actually charges so really try different like wall adapters also you can plug in maybe in a computer as well so it actually charges from a computer as well so that's also what you can do also if your watch has been sitting somewhere for a very long time maybe like half a year uh, then uh, simply once you plug it in let it actually sit on the charger for literally like one hour before you like uh, try to attempt to even power it on because if your battery is like totally totally depleted it will actually take a long time basically to uh, get the first charge and basically like revive itself so uh, this is actually a known problem with most uh, my smartwatches which has been sitting for a very long time so the first time you power it on basically if the battery has been discharged it will actually take very very long time so even sometimes you have to leave it like overnight if uh, there is some problems with the battery also if you still can't figure it out why it's not charging then also you can maybe purchase one of these like uh, small adapters so basically uh, you can plug this basically inside over here basically so this plugs in any like computer basically and then you plug it in basically and it will actually show the current that actually like used it uh, basically by the watch so you can actually see if uh, it basically the watch is actually starting to charge also obviously these charger cables also wear out uh, with time so maybe again if the are bent like like hundreds and thousands of times some simply maybe some strands inside break and again maybe your charger is like uh, yeah dead so again you can purchase a third party charger for like two or three dollars so maybe something to consider okay then next uh, uh, we can also basically if you have ruled out that the battery should be okay and all your chargers should be fine but still like not turning on or not showing any signs of life we can actually uh, like perform a reset on this watch so maybe there is something off with the screen or maybe some software issues that prevents it basically like displaying that it's even like on uh, so basically i will let me actually turn it on first so i do not have any problems with this watch but i have seen many different which has okay so basically the way we can uh, like uh, like softer set this watch is uh, we simply have to press and hold whichever button basically brings up this menu uh, so the quick menu so on the two button watches with only two buttons on the side it will be this upper button but if you have like a watch with uh, like buttons also on this side then most likely it will be uh, uh, the upper button on this side so either this upper button or this one whichever basically brings up uh, this menu uh, so then and to do that we simply have to press and hold it for like 15 seconds uh, so again if your screen is off you might actually not see anything but again simply like uh, click it and hold it for like 15 seconds so start a timer maybe so somewhere on your phone maybe and again uh, so i started to hold it so i'm going to hold it for in my case it actually will say a lot of things so i'm going to ignore it so as you see in a moment basically it shut down and yeah it is actually in this state where it's uh, basically 
um, it will actually try to attempt to like revive itself and fix any like background issues so again uh, simply like if you are sure that the watch is actually like charge it up and it should work again simply like press and hold this for like 15 seconds or even more then uh, what we have to do uh, we simply have to press and hold it for like literally two or three seconds and turn it on basically so see if that simply turns on okay so what if it still doesn't turn on so then we can actually go further let's again uh, do the like restart again keep holding it for like 15 seconds okay but this time we are going to do, do a different thing okay and wait some some time so again like 15 seconds then wait for like 10 seconds and then we are going to hold this for roughly 10 seconds so uh, again hold it for roughly 10 seconds so in my case you can see the like triangle starts to flash so but i'm going to keep holding it basically okay and then at least after some time and then for basically boot up in this menu so see if it actually boots up in this like uh, test menu so this is actually like a like special feature basically where you can actually test uh, like all the hardware on this watch and basically like repeat the combination i showed and see if it actually boots up in this so this is again kind of hidden menu and basically in this menu we can actually literally uh, like uh, yeah that's pretty much everything on this watch also we can perform various tests so again if i go through here again i can actually start various tests here in this but let me actually to go out with simply cycle uh, to this where it says press and hold the power key okay i'm going to release it and it will actually power it off and again if i it will actually turn on okay what if still it doesn't work then what we can do is we can actually try to connect this watch uh, to a computer as well so again simply plug it in uh, and basically uh, plug it in a computer so uh, actually most of these watches if you plug them into into computer you will actually hear a sound that uh, and it open uh, actually is a storage if you have like internal storage where you can upload music for example but also there is this like additional app uh, for garmin watches which is called garmin express so we can uh, download this app basically um, it works on windows i'm not sure of oh, or also on mac as well so but you obviously need a computer or laptop so simply you can download this software and again once it's downloaded on, on your computer simply connect uh, your watch again so it connects with the same cable it charges so simply connect and see basically if uh, that software is actually able to find this watch uh, so and basically yeah this actually also might revive this watch okay so what if it still doesn't work and doesn't turn so on and stuff like that so well uh, well the only thing we have left is really the russia method so uh, we can basically tap it, bang it basically and try to shake it in various ways again tap it tap it tap it tap it and see basically if that actually changes anything so again actually use some force again these are actually rugged watches so try to bang it basically and see if it actually might actually bring up your watch also we can like press these buttons in various combinations hold them for some time again uh, if it's not responding so again like yeah these are actually durable watches and you do not have to worry about doing such things again we can actually try to hold uh, the power button or any other other buttons for prolonged times maybe like even like five minutes again so this might actually yeah uh, do something else to this watch so and get it basically uh, to come out of uh, the like state that it's stuck in also you can literally like take uh, this uh, like fingers and try to massage the screen basically in some ways and see if it actually maybe again there is something off with your screen so again try to like push it inwards and massage it basically so again <laughs> yeah these are some things again we can basically do to try to revive it and by the way also i have actually changed a few batteries on these watches as well so if your watch is simply like at least four years old then there is chance your battery might actually be on its last legs or it has simply died especially if you haven't used this watch for some time and actually taking apart these watches is actually kind of easy so uh, for example on the vivo active and the 
when you watch it basically we have to um, literally um, heat up this screen basically and use a spudger basically to open it up so there is basically it's glued together so and then we can easily get access to the battery so again if you have basic tools again we can heat up the screen with like uh, like a hair dryer and again so i actually have uh, replaced a few batteries on these watches when i had watches like this so again it's not uh, like uh, super hard uh, on these watches still yeah if you have basic skills it's actually possible to replace the battery on them yourselves and there are probably uh, plenty of youtube videos as well how to do that anyway i hope uh, something from this actually helped you anyway good luck